On the second day after Parliament resumed its sittings following a one-week recess, MPs began debate on the President's speech as per the standing orders. The debate, which began for the first time in the National Assembly, saw Majority Leader Aden Duale take a swipe at the opposition over the whistling incident, terming it as a sideshow. We have seen the opposition thriving in sideshows, in whistleblowing. There is need for us as leaders, as a country, to reaffirm that covenant and to keep it alive. Therefore, in spite of all our differences, political affiliation. Deputy Minority Leader Jakoyo Mediwo poked holes into the president's speech, faulting the Jubilee government for failing to deliver on its pre-election pledges. As long as the secretariat of the Anti-Corruption Commission remains, especially the two top leadership, there will be no war won on corruption. In the Senate, Debate on the State of the Nation address entered its second day with Jubilee allied senators condemning the whistling by ODM MPs. It's very sad that we are discussing matters of uh, values and principles and the president was supposed to speak about values and principles. But even before he spoke, Mr. Speaker, uh, our colleagues on the opposite side, on the court side, Mr. Speaker, were totally in violation of those values. Court senators, however, argued that MPs are at liberty to express themselves in whichever manner they deem appropriate. Mr. Speaker, that's the point I wanted to make, that you need to see how best you can allow us to exercise parliamentary democracy. Because I can assure you, Mr. Speaker, when I feel motivated that I want to speak about corruption by coming here with a placard, I'll come with it. The standing orders stipulate senators to debate the president's speech for three sittings while the National Assembly will debate his speech for four days.